Hi everybody. This is my Garami tank, and of course now that I've started filming, he's around on the backside. Uh, but what we're actually looking at right now, if you look very closely on my spray bar at the very top, uh, my Chinese butterfly fish or hillstream loach, if you prefer, is up there grazing on the cyanobacteria. Uh, now. I do want to point out that these are not actually loaches. I know I do have a lot of loaches in these tanks, or in this tank. Um, the tank right next to me has six loaches in it as well. That's why I said these tanks. Um, they're not true loaches, though. They're just called that because they're easily sold that way. Um, if I'm not mistaken, they're almost in a category all their own. I always get confused and mixed up when they start talking about different families and orders and classes and stuff like that. So I don't know what they fall into that's their own little thing. Um, but the, the hillstream loaches or the butterfly fish uh, are a unique sort of fish and they are really good grazers on all fucks. So he probably sees the camera. I swear all fish are born with the knowledge of what a camera looks like. At any rate, what I did the other day when I did my big water change on this tank was when the spray bar is exposed, I spray it with hydrogen peroxide and let the peroxide do its work while the tank is low and then as the water comes back up it covers it over and eventually it gets rinsed off so you can see where the sort of purpley uh, colored stuff is that's definitely the cyanobacteria mixed in with the off-lux and everything else that's on there and you can see where it took a beating and is almost dead now and you can see some nice uh, clear area and green uh, before the water change, that was just purple. It was completely covered with that cyanobacteria. So what I find is after I do a treatment and kill off some of the cyanobacteria, the algae-eating fish really seem to enjoy it. Another thing I do is I spray all of that green fuzzy stuff down with uh, hydrogen peroxide when the tank is low. Uh, also on the wood, all of that green fuzzy stuff gets sprayed down and the result is, as soon as I fill the tank back up, uh, the garamis go nuts on grazing on all of the newly killed uh, algae. I, I, I even do it on the glass. I'll spray the green stuff on the glass. You can kind of see where it gets thicker towards the bottom because I never drain enough water out of it to spray all the way down there. But I can spray the glass up here, and it keeps it fairly, you know, at bay. And then as soon as I fill the tank back up, the garamis go over there or the hillstream loach will go over there and just graze off of the dead algae on the glass. It's interesting. They don't seem to bother it while it's alive. But as soon as I've sprayed it down uh, and killed it, they will go after it like crazy. This rock here is another one. For one thing, it's a new addition. So you can tell the patina on the rock is a little different than the ones that have been in the tank for a much longer period of time. Uh, I was just getting ready to say that Loach isn't dead, he's just dozing off, they do that, they just sort of drift in the current when they're sleeping. Uh, many a new Loach owner has come down to, uh, you know, dismay, thinking their Loach is dead on the bottom, but they're, you know, just sleeping. So at any rate, that rock is a fairly new rock, that's why the patina on it looks a little different. But it is another one, when I do a really big water change on this tank, I actually lower the water level enough that that rock is just exposed above the water line. And while it is, I spray it down with hydrogen peroxide. Um, now keep in mind when I say this, if you're thinking about spraying things down with hydrogen peroxide when they're exposed above the water level, uh, when you're doing a water change, you're still spraying it into your water. Just because it's on those rocks doesn't mean you know any excess doesn't run off and drip into the tank. Uh, you have to be very mindful of that. I don't ever spray enough uh, on the surface of my spray bar or the rock or the piece of wood or anything else that I couldn't actually use to dose my tank if I were spraying it directly into my tank. So you always have to be mindful of what you're doing and be very, very careful whenever you're using hydrogen peroxide in or around your fish tanks. It's really, really useful stuff and it serves lots of purposes if you know what you're doing with it. Uh, if you don't know what you're doing with it, it is lethal and will kill your fish and will even kill your plants if you uh, do it wrong or use too much. So I don't recommend using hydrogen peroxide uh, unless you do know what you're doing and you've done your research. Unfortunately, that research will involve killing a lot of your fish like it did for me. But I now know what I'm doing with it and I feel quite comfortable spraying it in my tank whenever I need uh, to use it. So this is my Garami tank. I was really hoping we were going to get a little better video of that Hillstream loach. Now he's down on the glass a little bit, but he's still down there in the shadows. You can just about make him out right underneath where the bracket is. 
So I'm going to call that a video since I really intended this to be about him. I'm actually getting ready to feed this tank uh, and may very well shoot another video right here in a moment uh, highlighting my striped Raphael catfish who lives down in the bottom. I've newly redecorated his cave so he has a lot more freedom and swimming around room. Uh, so stay tuned for that. If you're not already subscribed, go ahead and do so. That way you won't miss any updates. So thanks for watching this one. Hope you enjoyed and I'll see you real soon.